Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to do a quick video and show you how to edit uh, STLs in OpenSCAD. It's really pretty easy how you can remove uh, portions of it, add portions of it. Just a quick basic overview. I'll leave a link in the description to the cheat sheet in case you don't know OpenSCAD that well, but uh, let's get to it. One more thing guys, we got a new project. Video coming up soon. I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how easy it is to edit STLs in OpenSCAD and I'm using as you can see down here version 2019-05 so what you want to do is go to a Thingiverse or someplace and get your STL that you want to modify or use one of your own um, here's a one plus one car mount horizontal landscape case that I downloaded from Thingiverse um, now let's just say I wanted to import this and change it somehow um, I don't really need to change this one but I just want to use it for an example so what you can do is grab it and drag it into there and open SCAD automatically does the import command for you so let's just render that and see what it looks like there we go there is now let's talk a little bit about the layout here um, this one right here this is the Y um, axis so we got positive y up here negative y here this is the x-axis you got negative x here positive x here and this is the z-axis positive z here po or negative z here so let's just say we wanted to put a hole somewhere here in the middle and the most important command that you're going to use probably when you're doing this is the translate command and the translate command moves to a point uh, on the three axis plane I will call it right so let's just start by doing a translate uh, so we'll type translate we'll do a parenthesis a bracket and if you don't know the commands for open SCAD download the cheat sheet it makes it uh, really easy to figure these things out so if I type something and you don't quite get it that's okay go get that cheat sheet I'll link to it in the description and uh, you can figure out you know many of the basic commands very quickly so um, it's it's going to be when we type this translate command it's going to be X Y Z um, as we fill this out so let's say we want to go over this is 10 let's say we want to go over 12 about 12 on the X and then we put a comma and then we want to go up uh, 10 20 30 40 50 let's say 50 on the Y and this goes up maybe two on the Z. So we want to start at, let's start at negative one, which will be just underneath this thing right here. We're going to start. That way we can get a hole to go all the way through it. And now that we have our translated completed, we're going to do our next command, which will be, let's say the hole would be a cylinder, right? So cylinder and we do our parenthesis and we want to make it a height uh, let's make it 10 and then an R of 2 right and then what what will happen is it will build the solid all the way through it um, so what we want to do next is take away the cylinder from our STL to get a hole so we'll start up top here and we're going to do difference and a difference what that does is it says take away this from whatever is above it and we always have to end our difference uh, with a squiggly on each end there to show all of this is part of the difference uh, so let's uh, let's run through that now we can see that we have a hole in our device. So let's go ahead and render it so we can get rid of all the extra blanks it threw in there. Okay guys, let's say we wanna add one more thing to this just for fun, for giggles. Um, let's say we wanna add a solid piece right here at the end. Um, so let's make a cube, right? So we're gonna do cube. And again, this is in your cheat sheet. And you always end in that semicolon. So let's say we want to do on our X plane, we want to do 40. So we want to come out 10, 20. Actually, let's make it 30. 30. And then for our Y, which is up this way, 
let's say we want to come out five come up five right here so let's do a five and then how tall on our Z there's 10 to this line so let's let's go to 10 see what that looks like and then we render and there we did we added a straight solid block on the end so again you can just add delete do whatever you want by moving things around uh, let's say there was a bunch of writing here um, what you could do is translate a cube or, or a rectangle basically but it's going to be a cube in open NESCAD and just lay it right down on top of the writing and it would cover up the writing uh, that way when you go to print it you don't have any specific branding or anything on there um, you know say you're in a professional environment and they won't allow branding well there's one way you could get rid of that if you're going to use this piece uh, you know as a name badge holder or whatever right I'm, I don't know I'm just coming up with examples to see um, but you know that's how you do it it's actually pretty simple um, let me know your thoughts uh, thanks for watching hey that's all we have for today guys thanks for watching um, you know, let me know what kind of STLs you've edited. Maybe make a video, link it down below in the comments, and let's see what you've done on editing these. Uh, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.